everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. What is this? What, what, what is this? Mm, I see how it is, Sable. You think you can just come out and burn my trees? Yeah. She was just like starting everything on fire. It's burning awful slow though. Last year we did some work on this field with the excavator. Oh. And we tore down a lot of trees. So we have a lot of piles throughout. So Sable's gonna run around and be a little pyromaniac today while dad and I go look at a piece of equipment. Didn't get the old uh, fire making badge and boy scouts, did you? <laughs> well, the darn stuff, it's so spread up. You can't get in there. You excited? I am excited. We're gonna look at some neat machinery. This guy here takes really, really good care of his stuff and it shows, so we're gonna check it out and uh, Hopefully, maybe we can get some stuff that we're looking for. Sorry guys, we're leaving you in the vehicle because- It's cold outside! Well that too, but special surprise. Ah, special surprise. Currently trying to start fires, giant wood piles that they took out with the excavator. It's very, very cold. My hands are frozen, my nose is frozen. And they're not wanting to start. Oh, it's cold out there. We're just still trying to get fires going and it just doesn't want to start for me and Sable. The piles are loose enough. They're cold enough. There's enough snow on them. I don't think we're going to get them started today, but we're going to try this one one more time. And then I think we're going to head up to the shop where it's warm. We just gave up. There's a little fire starting, but it's burning slow. And like I said, it's cold. And then with the snow on it, it just ain't working. So we're gonna go work in the shop where it's warm. Well, the back goes in here in the shed. You know, I have on the starter side, I always go up there with the backo. I make sure it's in neutral. And then I go over and I take an old antenna and I hit the starter, start it up. Not the safest thing in the world. Well, I got it in here. I'm trying to tear in to see if I can find out what the problem is. It's just nice when you can get in the cab, hit the starter with your foot on the clutch and it's a lot safer. A lot smarter too. There's probably, I would say, a 99% chance it's gonna work. I left myself a 1% error. It worked, it worked. Let's try it again, let's try it again, let's try it again. Probably gonna be one of them cases. It's gonna work here in the shed. We'll get it outside and it won't work again. I gotta change my boots in a little bit. I got my snow boots on yet. My feet are getting hot. Cooper's kind of going through our trailer here for putting the back on the skid loader and stuff on our cemetery trailer is what we call it. But he's checking lights out right now. We want it road safe. We want it safe for everybody. Cooper and Sable are gonna work on taking some of these planks off. They're just, they're getting rotten. They're not too good a shape. We're trying to find some planks. We got a neighbor that's got a little mill that might have some, so he's looking for us. Trailer's looking a little bare, taking the rotten wood off. Sable thinks she's playing one of them bunko games when the little, I remember what it was, rhino or something pops his head up, you hit it quick and then it goes back down. Ugh. I have a feeling these ain't extra large gloves. Ugh. All right, I'm ready for surgery. The younger ones right now are thinking, hey, Daddy Cornstar, why ain't you doing nothing? Just stand around watching us. Well, when I was younger too, that's the way it was. I used to look up at the older ones and like, why are they doing nothing? Why are we doing all the work? So now, I guess I get to be that person. She doesn't give up. The old boards are getting kind of rotten though, ain't they? Just looking at the wiring on this, me and Cooper. Oh, ho, ho. It looks like a professional was not here when it was done. It is 729. Let's call it a night because I'm getting hungry. Oh, hey, we're back in the shop and it smells like something's burning in here, like wood. Oh, that's new. Yeah, this trailer actually looks pretty good for being so old. But we're not worried about the trailer right now. We want to get this back shelf done because the back shelf is the last thing we have to finish organizing here in the shop and then the shop cleanup it's done. And then once we get the foam inserts in the toolbox and get shadow boards cut out of those, then the toolbox organization will be done. Then we can start working on fun projects. But before we jump to the back, I have a couple of these little containers here that are just kind of miscellaneous nuts, bolts all mixed together. I'm gonna separate all those out and put
put them into the bolt rack. But don't get me wrong, I do want to utilize these for custom part kits for the cabs of the equipment. These are nice, low profile, it's easy to find everything in them. You just flip it open, everything's right there. Which is about a hundred times nicer than a bucket of tools. And fun fact, before we had this bolt rack in here, we used to have five five gallon buckets full of everything inside the bolt rack sitting on the floor. And they were completely mixed together in completely random fashion and it took me four 12 hour days to do this. I'm glad that job is over. We are now officially on the hardest part, the last 5%. Everything that's right here currently has a home, but this is a little messy. This is also a little messy. And I thought I had all the miscellaneous stuff out of here. You know what they say, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Oh my goodness. It's clean! Oh, just look at that. And look at that. Just look at it. At this point, we have now officially gone through every single item in the shop, one piece at a time. Everything has a home now. There's no miscellaneous items on the shelves. We're done. Actually, no, we're not. I'm not a real big fan of this area. That 55 gallon barrel needs to be dumped into one of these. So does this one. This little tote here is actually full of extra seed corn we had last year. So when we get the planter out this year, we'll be able to get rid of this. This torch actually belongs at the other farm. We really need to thin down on our five gallon bucket supply. Some of these, I really don't even know what's in them. I don't know, is it hydraulic oil, 90 weight, 1540? I and if you don't know, you're never going to use it because you don't want to risk accidentally putting the wrong thing in. And actually a couple of these have cracked lids. So there's for sure dirt in there, so we're not going to want to use those anyway. This is our old parts cleaner. The only reason why we don't use it anymore is because we got a bigger one. If anyone wants to buy this, it's for sale. Shoot me a reasonable offer. My email's at the bottom of the video description. Speaking of stuff for sale, this unit here is also for sale. Like 10 years ago when we bought our 16 row white planter, it came with this rate controller box on it. I honestly have no idea what it does. If anyone is interested in it and wants to buy it, I'll sell it cheap. But then continuing onto the shelves, we have all the tillage parts down here, Cooper's Baylor stuff. This is all semi parts and bearings. Planter section, sprayer section, combine section, construction section. And I just found more tools I can put away. Oil section, oil changing section, filter section, grease section, lot more filter section, chainsaw electrician section. I know, quite the combo. Wiring, rodent control, strap, fuses, zip ties, gloves, spray paint, paint, car detailing, cleaning, our everyday aerosol can use, our storage aerosol can use, windshield wipers. And everything's prioritized, least used on the top, heaviest on the bottom, most commonly used stuff in the middle. But now pretty much besides a couple efficiency projects left, shop's done. But all right guys, I've probably bored you enough. It's 12.34 in the morning. We're gonna go to bed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>